Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gabby, the Great American Broadcast Network. It's not time to sing yet. Now we go. Hey, everybody. Wait a minute. I pushed the button and it didn't uh, do it. Here, well, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know. It, it, somehow it did not... Uh, it did not uh, help me it, out there. Somebody help me. What? Help me. Talking to the microphone. Help me. What do you mean help you? Help Wait a minute. Me. Hold on I a second. I have to live with this. Let me this. see if this, if this works now. There we go. See, it fades. It goes I over. have to live with this. Yeah, I've taken the brightness down on the uh, on the video. Where am I? You're, you're here. Just you're checking. You're there. You're there. Just checking. Everybody can see your lovely countenance. All right. You know. Um, Guess what I did. What did you do? I ordered uh, some Omaha steaks. Why did you order because Omaha Because everybody steaks? says that it's very good. Yeah. And I wanted to try it. Really? Yeah, so they have like this package yeah. where you get like two steaks and two of this and two of that. Yeah. So I ordered it. So that it, means? That means that we'll be fed for a week. <laughs> really? We'll be fed for a week. Yeah. Yeah, I turned down the brightness on the pictures. I want to see if it looks better tonight because I, I watch it. I watch this show sometimes on the TV. Do you? Well, it's, it's, it's so I can see it all blown up. And... Um, the pictures are just a little too bright, so I'm. I brought the pictures down. So tell me if it looks good, folks. It, it look, look at her. Look at her face. Smile at it. See, this, uh, see, she looks I, good. Yeah, she looks yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For an old broad, you ain't bad. I'm you an know? old broad, that's it, for sure. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, it's Friday. It's Friday. You always sing bum, that. Bum, 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 bum. Well, because I like Friday. You know, I should have taken a pee before I. Well. I bucket. may have I may have you just stay here and while I, I get had to a go. guy one time that drove me from Pennsylvania where I built that studio to New York and yeah. he had a pee and he peed it in a jar that he carried with him as uh, he was no, driving well, me to New York. Don't laugh about this. Phil has had to do that for the last couple of years because his prostate was so big that it, it you know he, he couldn't unload his bladder enough at one time and he would have to carry a. Uh, a bottle? A, a jar with him, yeah. Phil, is that true? Now he's carrying a bag around. <laughs> he's going from a jar to but, a bag. Well, you see, I, uh, I, I don't want... When I first met you, mm -hmm. when we first started sleeping together, yeah. you were getting out of the bed yeah. eight, ten times That's a right. night. That's right. And then I went to a urologist, and the urologist gave me um, a pill called finasteride, and, and another thing, which is kind of like what the Cialis does, uh, which is, uh, was called Flomax. And, and uh, you would take the finasteride because that shrunk the prostate, but it took like three months for it to do any real work. In the meantime, the Flomax kind of made the, uh, loosened up the prostate or something. So the Are we pee, talking about old people so things so again? So the pee could go through. Every old, every guy, yeah. when he reaches, God, 50, so we we'll start having to? well start having urinary problems because God sucks. Well, uh, because we, God made this thing about the size of a walnut with a hole in it, and then He put the urethra right through it. Was, and so when you get older and it gets bigger and it starts clamping down on it, and you can't empty your bladder as much as you used to be. Who to. was the comedian Red um, was Red Fox? Yeah. He said God's little little game on people is that he put he put the vagina two two inches away from your asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But no, but you know, so I I'm uh, I'm like, uh, I, you know, I just I, I, I it was a real problem as you may remember. And then when I started taking the pills and everything, all of a sudden I'd sleep a whole night without. Uh, but, but snoring. That's when then you're during your snoring days. Yeah, but then then I lost all the weight. Right. And I don't snore anymore. Now I do. do you, you snore more than <laughs> well, I do. Because I wear a bite plate. I wear well, a guard. Well, tell them about your bite plate. No, this is the I don't newest, want to. I don't want to. It's old people stuff. I don't want to. Hey, talk I've about gotten it. I've gotten to finally decide this is an old people show. 
You know, yeah, there's a difference between getting old and getting older. I don't care what your ex-wife says, but this is the way it is. Well, you want to have an argument with her? No, you're gonna I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. Getting old is harsh. It's like you're there. I'm getting older. I'm sliding into it. Oh, no. You're yeah. skidding into <laughs> it. <laughs> sliding. You're skidding into I'm it. I'm sliding. And, and, and as, I'm you, not... as you skid, you careen off the curb, <laughs> and then you fall flat on your face. I'm sliding into it. I am sli I'm getting older. And I'm sliding into it. I don't believe really? in this harsh reality. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, anyway, we had a snow break on Wednesday. Uh, 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 it was actually no reason She's to She's like stay a kid, home. you know, good. It's a snow day. I don't have to go to work. It's, <laughs> it's snow day. Oh, it was wonderful. I slept and watched TV and fell asleep again. I mean, it was... Now, mind you, this nor'easter, with all this snow, hit a day after spring began. Yes, a day after spring began. Now, I I, I always look forward to spring because I figure like the 20th of the month comes and, and the birds will start chirping, but they were just out there coughing and sneezing. <laughs> you know, it was terrible. And and it was, you know, it isn't it isn't great yet. I mean, I went out today and I went, well, it looks nice, well, let me but tell it you, doesn't feel compared nice. Compared to the rest of the week, I went out today, I, I only had gloves, I didn't put my scarf on, I didn't put my hat on, so it, to, to me it was fine. It was fine? Yeah, and okay. the sun was out, I had to put my sunglasses on. I mean, yeah. it was a beautiful day today. Yeah. But uh, uh, I... Um, when was the last time you were out? Today. Yeah, but just for a short time. I went down. Yeah, because it was cold out there. It wasn't cold. Here, here's my question it's to you. It's still March. Here's my question to you. Why should I go outside? It's cold, you know. Why should I go out? And you want, oh, it's very sunny out there. I can see that through the windows. You're atrophying. I'm not atrophying. Yes, you are. You are. You're hunched over when you walk. You make a big deal out of that. Well, I, I said to, I, I said I don't want to look like my husband. That's Is that what, what you told the yes. person at, at your gym? Yes. I don't know what it looked like. And you know what that person's probably thinking to themselves? Then why the heck did she marry him? <laughs> She's still trying to figure that out. Yeah? We have an anniversary coming up. Yes, we do. Yeah. We have a... a and a, actually, that's the last time we took a vacation. Why is it I always pay for our anniversary dinners? That's not true. The last few years, I have been paying with my Chinese New Year's money. Oh, we have our Chinese New Year's yes. money. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I did last year and the show, year before that. Can you show it to the people? No, I'm not showing well, it. It's, no, it. I don't want to. It's up on the it's, wall. It's like, what, $700 I in don't there? Know, that's none of your business. $100 bills. Well, there's less because I took a few a couple of days ago. No, I forgot that that's yeah. our, that takes care of our meal. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good. So it's being paid for. By the Chinese New Year. By, by Chinese New Year. Yeah. It's Chinese, the year of the what this year? Dog. dog. It was a Chinese New Year gift from my people that I work with. Yeah, they all give her, it's like a tip. Yeah. It's kind of like you're the super. Yeah, it's like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. It's kind of yeah. like you're the super. It's a couple I of, am. I am. I'm the office manager that I, I kind of keep them in tow. Each of them kind of give you a hundred bucks. Some couple give hundred. you a couple of hundred. Yeah. Hans gave me three. I mean, it was just nice. It was just nice. It, well, it, you know, they, they... I love the company I work for. I mean, I let's put it this way. I'm tired of working. There's no question about that. But since I have to work, this is a great job. I mean, they treat me so well. Yeah. And they are so... There's. It's like it's the first job I've ever had in my life where I didn't walk around with my shoulders up to my ears because of... The political politics in the office. Yeah, you know? well, I don't have my shoulders up around my ears. They're down like this. Oh, well, that's you true. you say, I'm, I always am like this, right? You, you yeah. walk like this. I walk like that? Yeah. No, I don't. You know what happens, though, when I get out of bed? If I'm lying in bed for a long time and I get out, I lean to one side. I don't know why, but I think it's because I was leaning the way in you were bed. sleeping. Yeah. My, my, I would say the first two steps out of bed are the hardest. Oh, yours are like, you You look like an old lady when well, you get out of back. bed. Well, my back. I mean, it's a hard, it's hard. Well, I remember the days when I'd have a l nice young woman sleeping in bed with me. And, and I had a nice it, young it, man. In the morning, I would wake up and I would see this naked woman walking across. You're the going, oldest man. Geez, I, I am so fucking lucky. She is so hot, right? And now I have this lady who like, yeah, speak for yourself. Well, you never see me get out of bed because you never get out of bed because I never get out of bed. <laughs> no, I uh, uh, no, but you know I have my chores. I take care of the house. Yes, you do. And I also take care. Got our got us our health insurance. Yes, you did. <laughs> you know, 
But they rejected me. Listen to this. No. Now, I know, but I don't understand this. Okay. Uh, when Night you, guards when, are when, probably well, well, me, the most well, important thing that, that young adults and older adults well, use. Let me, it's a let, major me, let me explain this for a second. Percentage of people that use night when guards. When you have dental insurance, it's not really dental insurance. It just takes it takes up to twenty five hundred dollars. They insure what they want to. That's what the guy told me. Well, but, That's what but, the, here, no, but here's the thing. They can insure everything, and as soon as you use up that twenty five hundred, you use it. your twenty five hundred. Exactly, up. exactly. Here, here, they told her, "Well, we don't cover that." And I'm going, "Why not? It gets closer to paying off the twenty five hundred, you know." Uh, and it was a bite plate. It's a night guard that I, I I've been wearing a and, night and, guard and, since I was twenty one. And, and what our dental plan said, it's the only thing they don't carry. No, they say that that doesn't cover that. But I'm the, sure there's other things it doesn't cover either. So that was my first thing with, with the insurance. And then Monday, I'm meeting with my pain doctor. So that's going to be interesting to see if those pills go through. Oh, well, th no, those pills won't have a problem going through, provided you have the proper doctor. Well, doing I go it. to a pain doctor. My God, yes. Yeah. I, and if, if he feels you need it, you know, yeah. you, then you need it. Um, I'm sure there are other people who are on what is it, oxycodone or whatever it is you take. Uh, no, it's Dilata. Dilata. It's 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 um. It's Diladen. Diladen. Yeah. Diladen. It's a uh, pharmaceutical I heroin. Know. That's what I got in the hospital when I was having my kidney. The thing I loved. It's strong stuff. They're so tiny. Yeah. It's it's. You don't use it that much, though, do you? I take it when I need it. This was a bad week because the weather was going from nice to bad yeah. to bad to but, nice. But you know, I mean, a, a, a health plan will not deny you pain pills. They they just will probably you know limit how many you can get at a time. Like you find she would there was a there's a Lunesta. Lunesta. And what the insurance company did with the Lunesta will give you 15 in a 23 day period. Periods. Well, that's so that you won't do it every night. So yeah, yeah. That was the whole thing on that one. That's why they you know. I just wanted to stockpile that. <laughs> yeah, why well, not? I saw I have a stockpile of it, but uh, but that but that's the way they dole it out and that's fine. Yeah, but know. I'm afraid. I mean, because yeah, that they're not going to give it to me or I have to come back every 10 days for another well, five. Well, you know, the or... thing is, here, here's what happens. We throw the baby out with the bathwater. Well, water. you know something? It's like, it's like Trump wants to put all the drug dealers in prison or hang them or execute them. Start with the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, well, yeah. Start with yeah. the distributors of the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, they're the ones let, that push let, it. But let me, let, me, let me say to begin with, they throw the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, years ago, a very therapeutic psychological drug was made impossible for you to lay your hands on because they made it really illegal. It was Which called one? LSD. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it had therapeutic uses, and it was a, ther a psychiatric therapeutic drug. And that, it worked. That, 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 well, it, for the if, most part. If, if you had a shrink who was willing to spend eight hours with you doing the session, then it worked, okay? But, uh, and you could bypass years of psychiatric uh, counseling. Uh, but with the wave of a hand, they went, all these kids are having drugs on campus, and we've got to make this illegal, and they made it impossible for you to even use it. Okay. Well, look what happened with grass. Well, marijuana was the same thing, yeah. too, for years. Grass. But the thing is that when you do that, you, you also forget that there's a woman like Marjorie here. Look at them as the poster child for this. Just look sad. Look like you're needy. No, you're trying to look sexy. No, yeah, there we go. That there, there we. Go. You can you can deny this woman her Dilaudin, or you can feed a hungry child. I don't know what the <laughs> phrase would be, but the fact is, she needs it. She has Need terrible it. back pain, and this is the only thing that really. And helps what the it. doctor said, because I was really afraid that I would become addicted. He said. He said, you're dependent on it, and that's good, because it's working. Mm -hmm. But I've never gotten high from it. He said, you're, you're not addicted to it. Yeah, you're, he said, you're dependent on it, and that's good. That means that it's working, but I'm not addicted to it. Right. I'm dependent on it. Uh, but one time you took the pill, and you were just floating all over the place. And I've never, ever gotten high off of that pill. So it goes right to the pain. Yeah, I, 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 in fact, I, I didn't like the way it got me high, particularly. Well, you weren't used to it. You didn't know what to expect. But anyway... Uh, it, 
but the point is, the point that, is that, yes, there is an opiate crisis it in It works this country, for me, but, and I'm but highly mo- monitored. I mean, highly but, monitored. But there's a reason why there are opiates, is yeah, what I'm saying. Exactly. And you're a good example of that. So I, I, don't, I, don't, think, abuse I don't think they'll deny it to you. They might say you have to get it every 23 uh, days or something or whatever. But, uh, you know, you got it under your old plan, so there's no reason why this plan shouldn't cover it. Well, look what happened with the Lunesta. Well, but the Lunesta is a slightly I, different. I didn't drug. have that problem with the other pharmaceuticals. Yeah, but also the your your a doctor did not give you a lot of them at one time either. He would only give you 30, 30 of them at a time. Well, that's all you need for a month. Yeah, but you're not going to use it every day. I know you're not going to use it, but I never had to go every 10 anyway, days. Anyway, they're so anyway. afraid of this opioid crisis that they forget that there are people who genuinely have pain. So it it makes it harder for you to get the pills. Like your private doctor, our private doctor, who uh, who's our, you know, our... Internist. In, internist. Would not prescribe what your pain doctor prescribes for you because he told you once that he can't, he doesn't prescribe that anymore because there's too much, he might get in too much trouble for it. Right. So if you have a pain doctor doing it. Yeah, who just specializes in pain. He gives me the shot in my spine. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think they're going to deny you that. I mean, you know, what? They're going to deny you relief from your pain? Go give it, give it the pathetic look again. It actually look very pretty that way when you do that little... 1021. Huh? I'm just saying. (laughs) 1021. I'm just saying for anyone out there that wants to know the time and it's not near a clock. Uh, Let's see here. What, anybody saying stuff here? Um, No. uh, Let's see here. No, let me see. There's a... a Forbin Forbin says, I don't know Marjorie's age, but truth be told, Marjorie has an incredible complexion. Good skin, girlfriend. I work at it. Thank you. Uh... And um, he also says, circa 1990, the AMA urged doctors to prescribe more opiates because they, the trend was to restrict them. Opiates are safer than in, in, uh, acetaphetamine, Tylenol. That is horrid to one's liver and causes illness. That's right. That's right. Same with ibuprofen. I only take ibuprofen when I absolutely have a that, headache. Well, why do you think I had? Uh, well, I take it. We have these heavy-duty ones when, only when I have some pain. But the reason why I don't do it too much is because of the kidney stone. Yeah, it, cause, I take it, it can cause kidney stones. I take stones. it for headaches because it's I, the only thing that really gets rid of a headache. I have cystic kidneys. You have a cystic mouth, too. No, my doctor, when he did the thing, he said, oh, you got cysts on your in When your he put his kidney. finger up he your... He said, but that's not uncommon. When he, he put said. his finger up your ass? No, he didn't, he didn't put his finger up my ass. What he put up my ass was an electronic instrument. <laughs> And he did a... And it uh, felt good. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, he, it's, I think it, I actually felt it was better than what I used to feel when they'd stick the finger up there. Uh, and he went in there and he looked around and everything, and then he said, you'll look fine. Come back in six months. Let's take another test and <laughs> come back in six months. I have and to I, pay for this big machine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, <laughs> I'm going, why does he want me to come back in six months? And then I get the bill, <laughs> and it's $400 for him sticking this probe up my ass for a minute and a half. <laughs> okay? So now I don't tr- I like him, but I don't trust him. Right. Right, you know, right. uh, and, uh, um, uh, you know, I, at my age, if I don't even have my prostate checked, you know, s- something else will kill me first. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Like you're nagging me or whatever. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll put the but dirt in. But anyway, there. I do. See, I've become the house husband. Yes, he has. I've been out of work now for, what, five almost, years. almost five years. I had one of my, I had one of my uh, serious XM nightmares last night. Oh, God. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> So um, he's the house husband. I become the house husband, which is fine by me. You know, uh, at one o'clock in the morning, I'm putting the dishes away <laughs> from the dishwasher. dishwasher. Yeah, uh, and uh, I cook dinner most nights. Well, I don't eat with you most nights. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you no, do. I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Yes, you do. Ten twenty-four. Is this the worst argument we're going to get into tonight? Can I roll tonight? over? Not Can, yet. No. I want to roll over. Uh, no, no, that's what she said. Anyway, <laughs> um, you like saying that? You say it every single week. What? That's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah, well, it's, it's an old joke. 
Ah. Um, hey, I watched. Um, I watched this uh, I tonight. Uh, what? The one we just started watching. No, 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 oh. no, no. Forget that. I watched that interview with the playmate last night. Oh, yeah. I watched it today. I didn't see it. How was it? I, you know, I thought she was quite credible. I think the only question is, what is she trying to get out of all of this? And I think she probably wants to get out of that. Uh, uh, she wants to tell all. She wants to be able to publish her own book. Okay. Well, Sunday's going to be interesting. The and by the way, I think she has more of a story than Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels met him up at Tahoe. Supposedly, she was this woman was at Tahoe with him too, and they were going together. And she said, "I never saw anybody there." He did mention there were some playmates there, and I left a day earlier than him, so maybe he did. But the Stormy Daniels, I think, only had one encounter with him. I thought they dated for months. Well, I will have to wait and see. I mean, aren't there tapes and photos of the, the two of them the together? In, the interviews on Sunday. Sunday. But anyway, this woman went with him for nine months, and was pretty consistent. It was pretty consistent. She said that she called it off because she felt very uncomfortable about it. She didn't like being with him. No, didn't like being the home wrecker. Yeah, you know, and women like her have become the home wrecker because, in the case of Ivana, uh, Marla Maples was the woman that he was. Yeah, you know. In fact, he, she, and Ivana. Got into, I think, a big... Fight in Aspen, Colorado. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all over People Magazine. But this woman seemed very credible in what she was saying. I, I believe that he did have sex with her over a long period. She, he didn't use a condom, she said. Yeah, he didn't use a condom. He says, I, I, I don't like them. <laughs> well, what guy does, Donald? <laughs> you know, but if a woman asks me to use a condom, I'll use a condom. You know, that's... that's uh, you know, uh, And... and when it was at the top of the AIDS scare, yeah, it probably was something you should have thought about. And he wasn't using a condom, and then he was fucking everything in sight. Good going, Donald. Really responsible. You know, I'm I, I'm amazed that uh, that. Uh, but it, it it was it was it was an interesting interview. I I, I you know, and she 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 said she voted for Trump. She's a Republican. You know, she's a church woman. She's like found God. You know, is this the playmate or is this the one? This that, is the playmate. Okay, but there's a bunny too, isn't there? No, 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 no. There's no, three. No, there's no, there's there's it's three. No, there's there's three. there's the playmate and, her, and a bunny. There's and a bunny. No, they say there's a difference no. between a playmate. Playmate was in the covers of the magazines, no, and the bunny was a bunny. The bunnies worked at the club. Right. Well, there was a bunny. There were three women. One was a bunny. Well, one there was are a supposedly playmate. about nine women who have come <laughs> forward. You know, and I'm I don't I, I am not. He's uh, such a scumbag. Huh? He's such well, a scumbag. Well, I'm not about ready for any mo minute to not b believe that. Yes, he probably uh, was. Uh, uh, you know, I'm rolling over. Bang, bang it! Every, that's what she says. Sit over there. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. I'll let you know when it's time. Okay, you got you got a couple of minutes here. Twenty eight. Huh? It's no, don't just don't even come over into my frame here. Uh, the, well, you're, no, your hand. You have to come this way. There you go. Oh, you see? oh look at uh. <laughs> there we go. There's a. Oh, oh, spooky hand. Uh, or you can do Senor Wences, uh, you know. Who was talking about him the other night? I was. Set the bucks, set the bucks. Yeah, because you, you, you set, set the bucks, set oh, the bucks. Because we were talking, this is Senor Wences Way. Oh, right, Off of right, Broadway. Right, 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 right. Broadway and I think 54th. I worked there. Yeah. I worked on 54th between Broadway and 8th. Senor Wences Way. Right around the and, corner. And, and on that same street that Senor Wences Way was on. Yes, Studio 54. I'm, I'm, no, no. Studio 54 was More on. than that. More important than that. Uh, the, uh, the um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, soup Nazi. Across the street, yeah. The soup Nazi. Yeah. Became famous on the Seinfeld show, was across the street. Right. And the guy who was writing for the for the Seinfeld show he used to go there every day to get this wonderful soup, and this guy was like a Nazi, so he wrote an episode with the soup Nazi, mm -hmm. and the soup Nazi was on that street on Sunday. He got Wentz's famous. Way. He got famous. Oh. He put plaques in his in his store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As seen on Jerry Seinfeld. By the way, I have had uh, that soup, and I got to tell you, that was some 
fucking great yeah, soup. A lot of soups. I got a, a lobster store. bisque there. Yeah, many and soups. And it was great. No, he only had the one store. That's sto- not true, Alex. He I only right no, come here, come here, come here. So he only had the one store. Right, and he had many and, soups. And, and the, many soups. Yeah. And then he he tried to franchise it, and it just didn't Locked. work. Well, you know. All right, call in. No, uh, 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 what, what, you, I'm putting you, it in the middle. No, we, you, you the middle. The middle is here, equidistant here, mm-hmm. middle. See, mic middle. And if you want the whole mic, you can have the whole mic. I don't care. You can go ahead and do it. Open up you the know. boards. What do you mean, open it? Oh, I have to open up the phone yeah, lines, don't that I? That would help. Uh, otherwise, nobody can call. Okay. Now we wait for about a half hour while we wait. For I always have this horrible feeling that one night nobody's going to call. Well, then you have to just talk. You've done that. You I, rant, like, your little rants. Like tonight I'm having coffee. I haven't had coffee all week. I've been using tea, so I've been sleeping without pills and so on. But tonight's There's, pill night. Some teas because, have a lot of caffeine in it. Well, the tea I use doesn't. I use Earl Grey. It has caffeine. Of course it does. But it doesn't have, I, it, I can go to sleep after the show. But last night I, I woke up at like at nine in the morning after going to bed at two, and um, uh, I was you know I, I'm I'm slightly tired today. Hey, you know? I love your little hello. What's it called? Microphone. No, I love the microphone. But what's it called? The, the little promos. Oh, the promo. He she loves your promo. Your latest the promo. The latest one. It's great. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I send him car some. Car going down the street. The sightseeing <laughs> tour. I, I, I. This is Rob Alfano, who is the voice of Gabnet, among other things. He is the voice and, of Gabnet, and, and he's got a great microphone. Yeah, he has a great microphone. A hot microphone. You want to buy me one of those? No. No. Oh, okay. Is that is that a USB microphone? No. 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 It's regular Canon connected. What's the brand again? This is Samson. So my brother works for the company. Oh, yeah. Sa- uh, Samson. Not Samson. Samsung, but Samson. Oh, well. By like, the way, the three women, two, one was a bunny. And one, one was a playmate. Was, no, no, I'm sorry. One is a playmate. One is uh, Stormy, Stormy, the porn star. The third one is a woman from The Apprentice that he fired. Yes. Ah. She's the one who claims that he... Unwantedly, he he sat next to her. He played. He kept her best. He kissed her. You know that kind of thing. So, uh, so there was it, no bunny. No bunny. No bunny. There okay. was no bunny. No bunny. No bunny. There's Phil Meyer. Phil in hey. his bag. Oh. And also, uh, 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 Mr. Nunn. How are you this evening, Vernon? Uh, I'm great. Vernon wrote me a note today. We'll talk about it a little bit later about he, he had prostate cancer and how he took care of it. Uh, yeah, it, it involves a hooker in Tijuana. It's kind of an interesting. <laughs> he fired himself to a couple of resistors and a capacitor, and uh, it was all over. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, so she uh, anyway, Rob, she loves that. Uh, love it, love that it. Spot, and you know the thing that made him great with that spot is I just simply sent him this very boring Screw redo it. of what we had done once before, and. He looked at it and said, I got an idea. And he did the, the, that spot with it taking a bus ride around. I love it. I got your email while I was sitting in the car waiting for my wife to come out of the store. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I got to do something with this. And then I just said, what could you do with it? It's a tour, right? Yeah. It's a yeah. Tour around, well, what would we do with a tour? Well, it's a bus tour. I've been on the bus tours in New York City. Yeah. Old Decker tour. And I thought, yeah. okay. Do they ask for you to tip your uh, driver that oh, often? Yes, of course they do. <laughs> By the way, Ray, turn on your camera. We can't see your face. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm outside on my phone, so as soon as I get home, I'll... I'll oh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, just, yeah. just shout whenever you want to talk, okay? Because we okay. can't see you. Okay. Raise your hand. Hey, tomorrow I is could... March in Washington, D.C. with the kids. All over the country. Yeah. Right. All over the country. And Anderson Cooper had a special on tonight, which was just inspiring about the entire thing it was wonderful really? wonderfully wow. done i would look for it on uh, uh on demand on demand yeah, yeah. we have that on the yeah, Parkland have. something i can't think of the name of it exactly but it was it showed you footage of the actual tragedy people the kids stuck in a, you know closets and talking and it was just wow. you know it was really really inspiring what these kids are doing yeah Get them, kids. Yeah, go get them, kids. I just hope. Uh, I hope we have, really. If anyone that can change the world, it's them. Uh, yep. 
I, I hope, though, and pray that not too many adults jump in and try and get publicity out of it because uh, uh, a lot of noise. Yeah. Uh, oh, the wind. We, oh, we have wind noise. Oh, that's Ray. me. That's me. That's me. Let me see if I can turn it off. Y yeah. Is that? Oops. Well, that that turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me see. It's perfect. Yeah. Well, now we don't hear the wind Vernon noise. Vernon raised his hand. Uh, no, he. Uh, did you raise your hand, Vernon, or were you just going? To no, I was just saying that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Yes, uh, Phil. Uh, did you know that the uh, government is is going after anyone that's uh, has a medical marijuana card, and saying that they are not eligible to own a gun? Uh, because there are questions on the form that you have to fill out to buy the thing that mm -hmm. says, you know, are you doing any drugs? And uh, Oh, yeah, like people are just going to say, sure, I'm doing drugs. Yeah, no, love doing if them. If you have a medical marijuana card, isn't it registered? Well, just because you have a ma medical marijuana card doesn't mean you use it. It, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't that mean you use it. it. over that, saying that she doesn't use it, and she only got it to support the movement, and uh, yeah, she's and, and, she, and by the way, she has, well, you don't have to have the card anymore in California. It's uh, legal. I, I, That's I've right. never bought marijuana in California. Well, you just go down will. to the, you can go no, down you to can. you can go down to the dispensary and buy it right there. You don't need the card or anything it's anymore. It's for anybody. It's legal. You, you, you why don't you try it, Phil? I don't like getting high. I had a puff uh, when when it became legal. I was over at a friend's house, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, my friend Will, uh, I said to him, uh, eh, okay, I'll try it, because they always offer me, I always pass. I took one puff, mm -hmm. uh, I was hungry, I couldn't stop talking, you know, that's pretty dangerous. And uh, <laughs> Nothing uh, wrong with me. any of those things. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with any well, of those the, things. Well, the, the eating part is. Well, I, I, I get hungry too. And, and you know, the, the, the jabber about nothing. Uh, you know, it was was, was more, a real waste of time. Well, there are better drugs. If you want to talk, have meaningful cocaine, conversation. Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine's very good for conversation. Well, yeah. And, uh, and, and, and also, uh, what, what was it? Ecstasy. Ecstasy, ma amazing, wonderful drug. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll and go out and get it right away. For so sex. If we're talking about nothing while you're continuing your banter about Trump? No. <laughs> <laughs> so anti-Trump. It's like being in the in the uh, you know yeah. being in with the devil, yeah. although he's been a friend since the seventies. Oh, we, we we've got uh, we've got uh, Ray on the street. Ray, why don't you do this? Turn your camera sideways because that way we get the landscape version. No, just turn turn your camera sideways so you get landscaped instead of instead of portrait instead of portrait. Oh, see there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See. Oh, okay. Now, now we're we're all where does he live? Palo Alto. How nice. Hey, take me up the driveway of the Hewlett Packard uh, uh, garage. Is he, are you near there? Oh, uh, no, it's it's about two miles that way. Ah, too bad. Hey, um, yeah. I, I clicked on this podcast last night, uh, and uh, this guy... What were you doing, <laughs> cheating on me? Nah, kind of. And, and this guy picks up his guitar, and he's doing this Bonnie Raitt thing. Uh, and he was <laughs> fabulous. You listen? Yeah. <laughs> and he was fabulous. Ray, you got to do, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, something in my angels. Uh, Wait a minute. Was it, was it Ray? It was Ray. Yeah. He's great. Podcast. Wait a minute. You never sing. <laughs> you got to sing on this show, Ray. He is great. All right. I'll and, be here in about 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Bring your guitar. Uh, unless it's uh, original guitar. material, he can't sing. Well, no, it, it's uh, people can do uh, uh, Bonnie. You just can't no. play the Bonnie rate. You well, can't. No, we can, he can, no I say I played the guitar and sang it. Yeah. 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 yeah and, but, but right, can, not, uh, do you have a song you've written maybe that you could play that we, we could get away with that without any problem? Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, what if it's no, a parody? No, no, no. I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? I don't have I don't have I'm going to bed, guys. Yeah, what, what if it was a, a parody? I thought parodies uh, yeah. don't... Uh, oh, parodies are fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, listen. I do have a Yankovic song I can play. Oh, yeah. No, no, no you, you were so good. 
on that song, I was falling asleep, and then all of a sudden I hear this song, and it's going on for uh, several, <laughs> uh, s- several. Uh, what do they call it? Um, uh, Where was it? It was in, my, in my room. Oh, you were just doing a Facebook Live thing, right? No, uh, no, 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 no. I have a podcast, Alex, that I do every week or so, and mm-hmm. I just, I just played it at the end because oh. I had gone to see Bonnie Raitt last week. Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, I think it was the only way I could uh, sh- maybe not get sued. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I, I would imagine maybe if you're saying it, we wouldn't have a problem because it, it, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't you key off you, of something like that. There's no electronic um, uh, embedding. Because it's not an audio right. recording. You, you, you could be very right, right about maybe, that. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do a cover without being in trouble. Do you remember the days where you could play but anything I, you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Now it's like if you play more than four seconds, you got to be careful. Right. Yeah. Right. So Unless- I, uh, Ray, I'm falling asleep, and I hear this, and I said, geez, this is really good. And I woke back up, and I listened to it to the end. <laughs> was, <laughs> yeah, I, lo- I did the whole song. I figured, what the hell? And now at I'm the end of, of the five... podcast anyway. Yeah, now I'm one of your Thank five you. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, on Podbean, I got five people. I yeah. get about I get about average of about maybe 50 downloads an episode, something like that. Yeah. Really? That's five more than I get. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, the thing is, is uh, I, one time I was part of a thing called Wave Radio, and they did a uh, one every day, and it was a different person doing something really interesting, and we had a ton of listeners, but it was run by this guy in uh, London, and he just went berserk on us because he claimed that I violated a copyright, even though I had permission from the <laughs> written permission, and he freaked out and just took the whole thing down, just took it down. One day it was gone. Yeah, and then we were, we had we had like we had a couple thousand regular listeners, <laughs> wow. and then all of a sudden it's gone. Year, years ago, so now I got fifty. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I when I was doing Midnight Blue in New York, the sex show we used as a theme song. They're playing our song, which was written by Marvin Hamlish for the show. They're playing our song, yeah. and uh, I get a call one day. And it's uh, it's Marvin Hamlish's office, and it's the secretary, and she says, uh, Mr. Hamlish wants me to call you about the use of his song. They're playing our song uh, on uh-huh. your show, Midnight Blue. I said, yeah, and I'm, oh I'm getting ready for it, right? And she says, Mr. Hamlish wants you to know that he loves your show and gives you permission to use it as much as you want to, and if you want to use any of his other songs, that'd be fine, too. <laughs> cool. I love it. So I, at least I had a, a blatant pa- pass from Marvin Hamlish. Of course, he's dead now, yes. so I can't play his songs yeah. any longer. But uh, could have done well. the old Marvin Hamlish channel here. The See old that? Marvin Hamlish channel. And what would be the first yeah. song on the Marvin Hamlish channel if we went all the way back to the first hit he ever wrote? Wow. Oh God, I don't know what it would be. I don't remember. <clears throat> remember that Marvin song? Hamlish. Yeah. The first song he ever uh, did was Sunshine, Lollipops, Rainbows, a thing with Leslie Gore sang. That was the sunshine first. Sunshine and Lollipops. You no, know, Sunshine. Lo- no, 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 no. Sunshine, yeah. Lollipops, and da 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 da. Uh, yeah. And, and he wrote that. That was the first thing he ever wrote uh, that he sold to somebody because his dentist knew Leslie Gore. <laughs> And and so he said, "Here, give me a song you wrote, and I'll t- give it to Leslie Gore. See if she wants to use it." And she used it, and that was his first bona fide Ooh. hit. So, How about that, son of a gun, yeah, son of a gun. Was it a now? Musical? Of course, most was of the audi- a- most of the audience out there is going, "Who the fuck is Leslie Gore?" That's another story altogether. Al Gore's daughter? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she that would be Al Gore's mother. Gore. Oh, yeah. But um, um, yeah. So anyway, that, I, I was so that. The, uh, but but it used to be that we just used music, and if they told you to cease and desist, you ceased and desist. But you know. Yeah. But now you got the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, and yeah. Uh, I I've actually you know I have songs. We buy our music for for um, Gabnet, as, as oh. Rob knows, because he has access to the library. 
And it's all stuff that we pay a certain fee, about 120 bucks a year, to get all the music that they have and use all of it. And it, it's a pretty good production library. Do you have the video one, too? Uh, yes, I do, as a matter of fact. A lot of the backgrounds you see on uh, on the website and so on, and the visuals That's that I use here are, are from there, that library. Um, so, but what happened is, um, uh, I, uh, uh, we use that and occasionally I've had this happen where I, I used the song like, uh, uh, the thing we used for, uh, the old theme song, which went like this. Wait a minute. Let me see here if I can, uh, yeah. Okay. I can play it. Get off of YouTube. You won't be able to hear it folks. You people. You hear that, right? You, you, you remember that song? Well, that was my old theme song, and I, I get a thing uh, from, uh, uh, from uh, I don't know, I think it was Facebook, uh, no, uh, YouTube. Uh, this, uh, this song's in copyright. And I go, of, oh, course, no. of course it's in copyright. Somebody owns it, but, you know, give me a break. I, I, I paid for it. And uh, so um, then I have to go through all this stuff. I have to have this organization, which is called Audio Blocks, send them a letter saying yes he has the rights to it sometimes these people just you know say oh well, we have rights to the music even though they've sold it out to some company for mass selling so i've had problems like that too even with stuff that that's okay for me to use yes bob yeah i find it funny that the gentleman that's walking down the street was on a radio <laughs> station from the uk because the radio station i'm on is in the uk also Oh, and, cool. yeah, that's what, Ray Renati, by the way, who's, yeah. who's walking. What, his well, it was called Wave Radio, but it was only on the Internet. Yeah. By the way, uh, yeah. has your dog taken a dump? Uh, no, which surprises me because I have my bag. Yeah. So does but, Phil. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil. <laughs> we could time it. Oh, my dog's <laughs> taking a dump right now. She's taking a dump. Go ahead, Fox. Uh, okay, let's uh, hear we quick. She's camera uh -huh. shy. <laughs> you know, they, they walk a special way yep. when they're going to have to dump. Yes, yeah, she did. And then she stopped as soon as I put the camera on her. Well, well maybe, maybe if you just stop, uh, she'll... There we go. There we there go. go. There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, she's, she's, uh, she's preparing. She's preparing. She's getting a good spot. Okay. Uh, okay, this is taking too long. Come on. Action. Doesn't need Action. double wax. No. Like uh, do this. Why don't you give her a magazine? <laughs> that, that always calms me oh, down. Almost. This is exciting. This is yeah. this makes for exciting YouTube visuals. Here, here comes uh, John Perulis, ladies and gentlemen. John has joined us. Uh, yes. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Right while a dog is taking a dump on. Uh, on, the, on hey, the, that on looks the like my dog. I know. I know. It's, I know. I saw it. it looks like my dog. Wait a minute! It is your dog. He stole yours. <laughs> No, my dog's sick. He's downstairs. Yeah, yeah. just came back. We, from all, the we all have the same kind of dog and the same kind of uh, gabnet garb. You know, <laughs> you're right. Yours is a little white dog too, right? Yeah, yeah. Mine looks like. And John, what's your dog like that? Right? Yeah, yeah. it's a Maltese uh, uh, mini poodle mix. Yeah, ah, he's got this ten is a You know, it's uh, it's pretty bad. He's doing. Uh, cold laser treatments uh, and uh you know we need to do a bunch of those wait a minute wait a minute hold yeah. on a second and how much is that cost there she goes oh, oh. it's oh, no, not just, bad oh. it, it's uh, a little over 200 bucks for five treatments so you know uh, it's i got the insurance that rob told me about yeah i pay 32 dollars a month and uh yeah. if uh it goes over 200 or 250 a year uh they reimburse me 80 percent Right. Really? Wow. Yeah. What's the name of the company? Uh, a healthy Paws. P A W S. Oh yeah, I'll look into it. Yeah. That you know, I mean, How I, are you feeling? And they're, uh, I'm feeling, you know, reasonable for what. Good. Yeah. I mean, but, I'm, I'm, my business manager, uh, his dog got sick once, cost him seven thousand dollars. Exactly. Ow. And Ow. the funny part is, when it's your pet, you'll pay anything. 
Well, you know? I got the, yeah. cat, uh, the, the dog had something, a growth on her uh, gum, mm-hmm. and it was like fifteen hundred dollars. And I, you know, the the company paid back, and it was it was no issue. Yeah. Wow. Uh, they yeah. sent me a check. I haven't used mine yet. Yeah, well, that's why I'm saying they're legitimate, and they do pay, and uh, it's not a problem. You know, you only have to use it once for it to, right. to be worth the, the price, right? My, yeah. my uh, cat will be thir- the one who has the insurance. I don't have it on the kitten yet. But my cat will be 13 uh, tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it can get expensive. Well, you know, these pets, for us, the pets are part of the family. You uh-huh. know, they're... Uh, really important members and uh well i'm a, a you know longtime greenpeace environmental activist and i i believe in the uh kind of the uh, horizontal value of everything I, yeah. I think uh in other words i don't subscribe to the medieval chain of great being with god and the you know at the top and the angels and all this uh yeah. you know i think uh if we started looking at uh all life is on a horizontal thing i think would be more respectful yeah. know, of, of living things. So you want us to hang up now so you can go, uh, uh, this is where you, this is where you normally call from, right? I don't know where, yeah. where, 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 this is the house. This I'll is the, switch. Yeah. Okay. Hang up on me. Oh, okay. I'll hang up on you. So all you guys okay. got fancy dogs. Mines are found on the freeway and I'm the Republican. <laughs> oh, my, Albie's a rescue dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, he was wandering the streets in the rain in Antioch, California, you know, where all the oil fields are and everything. And, everybody, you know, says, everybody says that uh, that rescue dogs, rescue animals in general, are, are much better than, you know, high Because break- uh, like this cat that we, yeah. ba- we, we cat sit every now and then, uh, Berta, uh, was a rescue, and she's just yeah. wonderful. She's just yeah. wonderful. Oh, there, there's uh, Vernon Nunn. There's his doggy. What's, <laughs> what's your doggy's nice dog. name? What's your doggy's name? Barks. Oh, that's Barks. A, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. It's because his color is like Barks root beer, so it's B A R Q S. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh And right. and and what is your dog's name, Phil? Uh, Ella, and that's oh. because she when we found her. She had an, a, 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 a tattoo of an umbrella on her inner thigh. And little did we know that that represented a no-kill shelter that the previous people adopted her that threw her out uh, uh, called Umbrella of Hope. So oh, cool. when we found her, yeah. uh, we didn't know what to call her, so we called her Ella the Umbrella, <coughs> and it stuck. Okay. And, and, and uh, Bob, what's the name of your, do- your dog? Well, we have five Five, uh, yeah, we yeah. Got Lucy and Girly and Barkley and Molly, and what's the other one? <laughs> it's got a like, lot of dogs. It's, it's yeah. been a long day. <laughs> uh, John, uh, John, how about you? Yeah. What, what's your dog's name? It's Alby. Alby. Okay. L- and, and, A-L-B-I-E. And, yeah. and your cat's names, uh, Rob? My cat's names are Maxie. She's the 13-year-old. And Jack is the one-and-a-half-year-old. I see. Okay. So, uh, 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 and, and Renee is now on the line. Renee, what's your dog's, hey, na- hey, what's your dog's hey. name? Renee, you there? I don't think she can hear us yet. She can't hear us yet. Oh, well. She's uh, watching spinner dolphins. Uh, sp- sp- <laughs> uh, um, uh, yeah, let's see here. I had, let's see here. I had, um, uh, let's see, I had uh, George, a cat named George, <laughs> and another one named, um, God, I forgot my cat's names now. Shabbos. Shab- <laughs> there was Shabbos. There was Yontif. Okay. <laughs> Yontif? Yontif. <laughs> yeah. Me. Good well, well we, had, we had Shabbos, because we got him on Saturday, and I said, we'll name him Shabbos. And um, that was fine. And then we got a female, and we said, what would we call her? Well, you know, what's the equivalent of Shabbos? Well, Yantif, good Yantif. So we named her Yantif. <laughs> and, cool. uh, and then we got some other cats, and we got, had one cat who was just a little, little small kitty. Uh, and uh, when I first saw her, I said, she reminds me of a mouse. So we named her Mouse, M-A-O-S-E. 
And cool. um, and then there was George, and then there was Bert. Bert was really stupid. Bert was so stupid that you'd come home and the cat was sitting in the corner looking at the corner and just standing <laughs> there. Yeah, he was really dumb. Uh, but, but Charlie, on the other hand, his brother was amazingly bright, you know. Teachers used to do that to me all the time. Hmm? There was the corner, there was the stool, you look at the corner. Yeah, and and and, and Bert, uh, Charlie was so wonderful with me that I'd sit there watching television, you know, propped up on the pillows, and Bert would come over and next to me and put his paw around my shoulder and watch television with me. <laughs> really nice. cool cat, really cool. And Shabbos was, of course, wisdom personified. I mean, he was just, he was zen. Yeah, okay. Bob, Bob Ebert's got his hand. Yes, Bob Ebert. Yeah, we... Uh had a dog we called Kiffy, which is short for kitchen floor inspector. <laughs> we uh, adopted him, and they had brought him straight from where they had picked him up to the adoption. And he had been in a house left abandoned. And we felt sorry for him, and we adopted him. They had to shave him completely bald. He was so matted and everything. But we thought he was going to be food aggressive and everything because of his conditions. He was the happiest dog I've ever seen in my life. And he never seemed to want to have a lot of attention. About once a day, he'd come over, you pet him on the head, he'd look at you and just run off wagging his tail. Wow. And he was the, the I, best dog I think we ever had. The, the, the Shabbos and Yontif thing was, the predecessor to that was we had a... Um, when I was growing up, my parents got a dog, and they we got the dog, and this is, I guess this is a blasphemy of sorts, on Yum Kipper, so they named him Kipper. K -I, <laughs> no, K-I-P-P-U-R, not K-I-P-P-E-R, but K-I-P-P-U-R, <laughs> like in Yum Kipper. And that's, of course, in case people don't know, in the Jewish religion, the highest of all holy days. Day of Atonement. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, on a moonlit night, my dog—he was out there on the porch, uh, howling at the moon, doing the uh, Kol Nidra, and uh, you know, it was pretty good. But that was—that was where we got. That's where we got the whole, um, the whole thing from, uh, 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 from naming them after Jewish things. And then I got tired of that because once we got up to five cats, you know. And then, oh, then what happened is one of them, uh, she, it, it, my wife, Ronnie, uh, God bless her at the time, uh, went around and was constantly, uh, would not, um, what do you call it, spay the female in the family. Yeah. But, oh. she, but she kept neutering all the males. And, I got, <laughs> and my joke used to be, so I got rid of her before she got around to me. <laughs> uh, uh, but it was, um, um, it, 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 uh, what was I, where was I going with that? She, she didn't, uh, spray, spay the oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So w the female was always giving, having litters because the do cats who were in the house who didn't get neutered too fast enough would have a kid with us. So there was all this inbreeding going on with these cats. And at one point, we had like eight, nine cats running around the house. And so we, as they came of age, we literally were asking everybody we knew, you know, uh, would you like a kitty? You know, uh, and uh, because we, 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 we had to give them away. And uh, get a box, a kid in the corner and, uh, you know, put them in their free cats. Yeah, yeah well, I, I was going to do that at one point, but I managed, we always managed to find somebody who would take one of these cats. Uh, but I remember one night we were out to dinner with Abby Hoffman. This was the first time I ever uh, had got met Abby. The we, Abby, Abby Hoffman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. And we went out to cool. dinner uh, or dinner after the show. And my wife, Ronnie, who uh, was always asking everybody if they wanted a cat. She was like the cat pimp, you know, uh, said to in a very loving way to, to Abby, uh, I know we don't know you very well, Abby, but, you know, would you like a cat? And he looked at her and said, without even batting an eyelash, are they good to eat? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like him. <laughs> yeah. And from then on, we were friends, you know, because uh, we, you know, that was, uh, you can't beat that kind of humor. 
Yeah. Um, here, here we go. Ray is is ringing now. He's he's inside. He's, I think. Are you there? Was he streaming from a he, smartphone? Yeah, he was streaming Did, from a smartphone. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Oh yeah, no, we have a lot of people do that from time to time. You know, show us hey. the outdoors, yeah. and uh, Ray should be popping in any moment. There he is. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have your guitar there? It's in the other room. Well, go well, get it. <laughs> well, you're not you're getting. Gonna, no, you're not. To, you're gonna have to sing for your breakfast. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, I'm I'm only like I only know. I mean, I haven't been playing much lately, so that, that I can't one, do a whole hell of a lot. That one tune was great. Oh, thank you. And, and you were great. Yeah, well, I did. I learned that because I I had a show. I was doing a one man show, and I I learned like three songs on the guitar. The rest of them I sang with piano mm -hmm. player, another piano. All yeah, right, okay. you want me to get it? Yeah, go get, go get the guitar. Okay. We we need a little talent tonight. Hi, Jeff. We haven't really said hello to Jeff this evening. How are you, my friend? Hello, hello. Uh, How are you all? Fine. <laughs> uh, I didn't ask you. Do you, do, the, do you have any pets? The name of my dog is No. No. <laughs> no dog. Oh, no dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, that would be a good name, though. No. Don't. No. <laughs> I, I'd love to have a cat here on a, a permanent basis but um i just you know with the windows being on the eighth floor i just and they're open during the summer i don't want to take a chance of a cat kidding committing get kitty some, suicide get some screens i have screens but i still it panics me yeah you know. put up those child bars uh, 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 child bars uh yeah well, those, those, things. City, those child bars i have yeah yeah those those get could that. work Okay, so you got your they, you got your through. guitar there, right? I do have it here. Yeah. yeah. All right. You want you want? I mean, if you want me to play it, I should tune it first. I can turn the, my volume. Oh no! Off don't tune mic. it. Let's hear you play untuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Well, it's uh, probably not, it is a little out of tune. Well, well, no, yeah, it's, probably, it's probably okay. The show. Tuning's got to. Untuned is always better. Yeah. Give yeah. yeah. excuse too. Uh, yeah, excuse, excuses are always helpful when you yeah. suck. Well, no, I can't hear very much with that. Well, this will be the true test. They say that uh, this can't be played anywhere in the world. I am an old woman. That's right, I'm an old woman named after my mother. <laughs> my old man's another. Child that's grown old. If dreams were lightning, thunder was desire, this old house would have burned down a long time ago. Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing that I can hold on to. To believe in this living is just a hard way to go. That's one verse. Very good. Very oh. good. Thank you. And if, if you're watching this program and all of a sudden his song cut out, uh, it's because I had to go back and edit it out in order for it to get, be, get it to be shown in Ireland or something, you know. Uh, it was only one verse, and uh, he did see the, sh uh, the show, and uh, so it is, uh, you know, pertinent to the yeah, well, it's not, about the song. Oh, if I tell you about the show and stuff, it'll be legal. Yeah, that, I sang that because Bonnie Raitt is a wonderful artist and has been since the 60s 70s and 80s 90s and thousands yeah she's also an activist and her father was john jo john ray, ray. famous broadway star and producer and that's why i sang this song and and reason. what and what show did john <laughs> rate star in what major major theatrical tour de force did he star in oklahoma. the other god for get show. Gun, oklahoma oklahoma <laughs> yeah, oklahoma yeah. Yeah, and it was one of. Hey, I, 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 I believe he also did Carousal. She lives where? Or Carousel, excuse me. Carousel, yeah, yeah he did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, where does Bonnie Ray live? She lives in Mill Valley. 
Oh, that's why. She, okay, I thought yeah. so because uh, yeah. she's still really bummed out about the fires, and 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 there was she had these two. Um, uh, what do you call them? I can't think. Two two organizations in the front there that were collecting money for the Napa fires. Oh. Yeah, 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 I think um, uh, what, Sammy Hagar don donated some money there too. He he um, sometimes lives in Mill Valley, but he moves around a lot. So. Yeah, uh, I thought she was in L.A., but she's up here. Cool. Well, it'll be interesting to see if if when I finally uh, put this thing online, if they suddenly go, yeah, you got a you got a problem here with it. You I, know. I think it's going to go through because just, uh, there, there's no electronic. <laughs> Uh, signal implanted into but it also the, recognized they also recognize songs yeah they, there's uh, kinds of um you know yeah. there's all kinds of like you know they have uh, pattern recognition for um yeah you write material but that if, hey, if you haven't been shut down right now you're okay because i was playing a copyrighted song in the background on a live youtube broadcast about two years ago and boom a red flag came right up and they they shut my broadcast and down. It, but it was, live as a it was live yeah, at the time? Yeah, it was live. Yeah, it was just a test. It's when their uh, the YouTube format first came out, and I was just running some tests on it. And, you know, then they sent me a, a private message that said, hey, one more red flag like that, and you're, you're, we're going to take your privileges away. So It's funny. But, and, you know, I shoot weddings and things. and You um, can't broadcast a message, but, you know, you can, yeah. you know, fake news and all kinds of, you <laughs> yeah. know. Manipulation yeah. of information is quite okay. Well, the it's place, the place information. where I would have trouble initially would be Facebook. YouTube is rather forgiving now. What they do is they just have various levels of like, okay, this is a copyrighted song, yeah, and uh, yeah. you can't you can't use that song or whatever, or uh, you know, but it's not a count against you. It's just you know. So, uh, but we'll see. I mean, it could very well be this song will go through just fine, and if it doesn't, I'll have to go back and edit the whole show and cut out that wonderful. I have seen all kinds of copyright violations on YouTube that just stay there forever. Nobody touches them. It's well, Facebook, and uh, it depends uh, on the uh, depends on the copyright yeah. material and how I, I did a video that yeah. ran. I don't know, maybe two minutes, and it was a compilation. I'm a big Yankee fan. It was, it was now, it was video to to music that was like indescript. It was, but I cut video around. I did not use one game play. I only used celebrations and high fives. I did not play. There was not a play or a it's nothing. Just celebrations of as many uh, championship things as I could find. MLB shut me down within a day. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're very protective about that sort of thing. I, but, but, I, but there is a lot of stuff I've seen on, on YouTube and, and it, you know, it's music and everything else that they play. So in this case, I don't know if any red flags will go up because it's another person singing it. He paused a little bit here and there. It it, it yeah, isn't going to be wrecking myself. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't hear myself with the with these on. I couldn't. But hear I'm anything. I'm saying that it yeah. it, it probably yeah. uh, wasn't of a nature that it will be uh, flagged. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bob. I've downloaded whole albums off of YouTube with the YouTube uh, uh, recorder. I've mm -hmm. downloaded whole concerts. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well. Also, it would have to be John Prine who would... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I, well, I don't I'll tell you, care that much. I'll he tell wrote you, the song. Let, let's get into this because we didn't get into this last night. Uh, the, the, comp the company that gave me the worst shit was Facebook. If I were to play a song, let's say during the show I were to play a record, a song, even for like 20, 30 seconds, they would literally cut the show off. Wow. They closed and it how down. Does your, how does your last show from Florida do it? They play music. They do. Uh, well, no, that, that, I'm, that's not going over YouTube or well, oh, they are oh. using Facebook Live, but they may not be. That may not be going across. Plus, the music they play, they only play a little bit of it. They may notice they don't play the whole songs. Oh. They do it for fair comment or whatever. I I don't feel comfortable with it, but the program's coming from somebody else. It's an outside vendor, and uh, I I really don't uh, you know uh, have to 
live with it. Okay. Uh, if, if they have trouble, I'll just say, okay, we'll take the show off or you guys stop playing music. But in the meantime, I'm not that worried about it. But uh, the, the point I'm making, yes, John. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. Well, the point I was trying to make is I get, when I, when I, for instance, I tried to run a video of, uh, there's a, there's a video that, that was done by F F Funny or Die, which was about net neutrality. It was a bunch of porn actresses. If you may remember the piece, a bunch of porn actresses uh, about net neutrality. And uh, I thought it was a very important piece to run. And I would think that certainly Funny or Die would like to see that be seen because it was trying to make a point and trying to keep the uh, internet open. I played that and all of a sudden I look over and Facebook has shut me down. The show is not running. They just like, boom, cut it out. Now, if I did the same thing right now on YouTube, they'd let it play, but then they would say, well, this is copyrighted by Funny or Die yeah. and it can't be, it can't be monetized. Okay, in other words, yeah, they can yeah. monetize it if they want to run a commercial before your show. Uh, uh, you know, I'm glad you, you spoke well, up about that. Well, you, well you know, the, reason, I, the reason I'm bringing this up, okay, is yeah. because this is the very same mm. Facebook that didn't give a shit about uh, Cambridge Analytics, uh, yeah, right. you know, yeah. scamming, scamming the game by getting information on all its users, and yet they're worried about me playing a goddamn fucking promo about net neutrality. Fuck yeah. you. you know? so I, I subscribe to this magazine because that, you know, that's Streaming my media. business. Yeah. And that's why what you just said about Facebook and YouTube is why I won't buy this. This is a really good piece of gear from Epifan. It's a little um, broadcasting device that attaches to your camera, mm -hmm. but it's only uh, set up to broadcast to YouTube and Facebook. So why invest all this money in this thing? I just use uh, Wirecast and my Mac and, and DawCast is a program I like using. Uh, I never have any problems with that. DawCast is everything. quite expensive though. No, nah, it's tw 25 bucks a month for uh, limited using, and, yeah, well, and, but uh, I, they can yeah. upscale it if you want to, you know, broadcast to a bigger uh, audience. John, that's four months of GabNet. Uh, yeah, but over you see, I can go live every night. I can go live for 36 straight hours on YouTube and not pay a penny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why should I pay DotCast? Uh, yeah, I well, I... Yeah, I monetize uh, some of the things. Well, I can, uh, I can monetize on YouTube. I think you get more use, uh, listeners on YouTube. It's just a, it's a bigger platform. It's Google. Uh, I, 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 ju uh, I just think that when yeah. people search for stuff. Like Actually, I get a bigger audience if I do my stuff on Facebook, but I find the quality. Like, I've been doing this show. Hello, uh, Tony. Uh, I've been doing this show on YouTube now for two months. You, and you can all verify this. It has never gone down. It has mm. never glitched. It has never frozen. It's never done anything. Uh, it has been perfect. Well, uh, what kind of internet speed do you have there? Well, I have a gig up and a gig down practically, but th mm. that doesn't matter. You could do it with far less than that. What I'm saying yeah. is yeah. it's a much better system than the one that that uh, that Facebook is using, which is just full of problems. And now, with their political problems and the fact that they haven't been watching out for their users, uh, I'm very happy I moved over to YouTube. I may not be getting as many viewers as I got off. Like the other day, I, I on Facebook, I put up my the snow coming down against a brick wall, and yeah, I got I I got almost a thousand viewers for that. <laughs> You know, <laughs> boy, I'm 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 waiting. For, I, I'm am going to do that day when I'm going to put a board up here and I'm going to paint it. And we're going to watch the paint dry and see how many viewers I get for that. Bob yes, Ross. yes, Bob. One of the things that surprised me, I've been doing uh, the the radio now probably about 15 years, and for mm -hmm. the first 11 years, I had to post a pro playlist for all of my shows when I was on internet radio. Now I'm on an actual FM station over in England, and they tell me, you don't even have to post a playlist. And that surprised me. 
Mm. Well, I mean, there, there are different rules. Posting a playlist is uh, is if if I were to go out and get a um, a license, uh, I would have to send them a, a notification of every song that I play. Okay, mm. they 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 still don't you know they still don't have a way of being able to say okay, uh, Gabnet, you want to play music and you're non-commercial, you have no commercials on your channel. Uh, 500 bucks a year, you can play anything that exists in ASCAP or BMI or whatever. But they don't do that. It's like a big, big complicated thing, you know. And yes, if you're non-commercial, it's cheaper than if you're commercial, but, you know. I have a friend that programs five country stations, and everything is down to the the what music, uh, what jingle, what, uh, you know, what spot. Uh, everything's down to a science and, and he does it for five stations well what does that have to do with what we're talking about well it's it's the playlist you know they he creates the playlist and yeah. all the all they do is they play it yeah you know, they, yeah but uh, that's not what we're talking about what we're talking about is is trying to buy the right to play well, music uh, i was answering you bob's know. uh that he it, creates the playlist and uh, so uh, that's what I was talking yeah, but about. But there's no, there's no, there's no, they, they haven't come up with a cheap and reasonable form where, you know, people will say, okay, you know, I'm willing to give you, I, I'd be willing to put out 500 bucks a year if I could just play any song that I want to play. Okay. Well, then then Rob could do his music show that he wants to do. Well, there's different but, packages. But, but, Sony, you can get a Sony, you can get uh, different different ones. And I would yeah. imagine that they're different what, what, prices. What, 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 what are you I, saying, Rob? I said I would do a music show in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. I would one too. And you. by the way, you don't go to the individual uh, publishers and. Uh, no, but there's. Uh, you, 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 there's you know, Sony has, for instance, is one. No, uh -huh. so, Sony, 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 that you have to go get an overall license so that you. Because I'm not going to just play nothing but Sony music. Well, you know. uh, I think the way Barry said he did it is uh, he got it with Sony, he got it with others. No, and, no, you get it. You get a. There's a thing called sound. Do you know what it was named, Rob? Do you remember Sound, the name of the company? Mm. Uh, and and they license. They give you an overall license, and you pay a certain See, amount, and they administer it. There are many rules around that. Yeah. Meaning that, like, I, if I were going to do that show, I could not use CDs and my mini discs and spin a music program like, you know, old-fashioned way. You have to be able to put the names of the songs and the artists on that uh, channel so that it, it spits across. Now, for a while, I was doing music. I was doing a music show. <laughs> I was doing a music show on that. Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> what? Is, oh, my God. <laughs> it scared the party. Sitting here with headphones on. They Wait a minute. What has just happened here? I have uh, some let, 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 let me Let me blow this up a little bit so you can all see it there. The, these are my neighbors and my wife over here. Yeah. The, the wife is in the corner. She's being very demure. Huh? <laughs> we watch neighbors. Oh, you were? Yeah. yeah. Scared the hell out of me. All of a sudden, I, I reach back like this and I felt something. <laughs> oh. I locked the door before I came up here. My wife was next door with the neighbors, and they came over and surprised me. We were watching. There's the camera. Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're watching. Okay, well, you, you, now you see it. I don't know, you know. the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, put this all back together here. Wow. I know. I was in the camera. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's Aaron. <laughs> Well, you certainly moved into a fun neighborhood. Yes, uh, it is. It's it's quite a nice neighborhood for sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. We okay. were watching you. Bye, bye. Hey, they bring you something to drink, Rob? <laughs> they, well, they, uh, they all have wine. wine. And and you get squat? And I can't drink. <laughs> Last week I got drunk at her party <laughs> eight times. <laughs> <laughs> Just five. <laughs> I made up sausage on the floor. Oh, please. We wanted a photo of them. <laughs> All right. Okay. See ya. Bye bye. What is wow. that thing making have abuse? What?
that uh, thing that you take to lose weight? Does it have an abuse? I think that's what they give alcoholics so that they throw all, up. All I know to show you how, right now, we've been off of yeah. it. I wouldn't have been able to drink. Um, but uh, I just, I don't know. I drank a little bit and I uh, got sick. And I Sunday was a nightmare. It was a party mm -hmm. Saturday. Anyhow. Yeah. You know, when all those women walked in like that, I was going, is there some kind of secret Rob's been hiding from us about a polygamous <laughs> uh, family? <laughs> oh, my God, they just scared the heck I, out of I me. Just got, I, I, I just got through watching. It's on, on Hulu, if you get Hulu. Um, it's a movie called Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. <laughs> and it is about Mars, uh, Professor Marston, who was married, and met up with an, they met up with a third woman, another woman. And they started having a polygamous family. The other woman was Margaret Sanger's... Uh, uh, niece and they had this polygamous marriage going it wasn't really a marriage because the third woman wasn't married to them but she lived with them and had kids by him and they all raised the kids together and it all was going fine until the shit hits the fan of course but the thing that happened in the midst of all of this is it in the process of being out of work as a professor because the sh charade had been had been uh, discovered uh he came up with a concept for a comic book and that comic book was wonder woman now professor wow. marston among other things also invented the lie detector so it's things like wonder woman's lasso of truth hmm. was based on his lie detector Hey, and Stormy and, daniels took well, wait lie a minute detector and if you ever look at the it. old wonder woman comics about 35 to 40 percent of the time she's tied up or in bondage <laughs> and it was a whole it was a really it was a bondage comic book that he was getting away with on a national level uh and it's the whole story about the family and about the last part of it is the creation of wonder woman and him fighting the the comic book people uh, over you know whether he can do this or not it, it's just uh it's a great little movie if you get a chance to see it Professor Marston hey, and the Wonder Woman. What? If you go to counterpunch.org, counterpunch.org, mm -hmm. and uh, look for the Stormy Daniels article, it's the best article on Stormy Daniels ever. And she and her ex husband took lie detector tests around her involvement with Trump, and they mm -hmm. passed all the lie detector tests. So there's more in that article. But you know, when you mentioned that about the lie detector, yeah, I well, thought. If you, anybody you know, ever, always got to work st stormy if, if anybody asks you who invented uh, the lie detectors professor marston who he wrote the comic books under a different name though uh and uh it it, it was uh, it's an incredible story just an incredible story um and it's on hulu so you can if you have hulu you can watch it i'm gonna have to watch that yeah, yeah. i don't have hulu uh, i like when they do the comic book things i knew there was something i i loved about wonder woman when i was growing up and it was all that bondage you know but then 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 they got him out of there and they they took wonder woman and almost <laughs> neutered you know, her if and, wonder Woman was actually real and she threw that the last word truth around trump imagine if we got all the yeah, truth yeah out of but him. but the point is the point is <laughs> that uh uh you know they they literally defanged wonder woman and so how wonder woman wound up was she was part of the justice league but you know what her job was as one of the you know you had superman and batman and so on the justice league you know what her job was i bet tony can tell us i don't know what this happened. I, I, I she, was was she was the secretary she was a secretary she was the secretary of the justice cool. league <laughs> That's how they defanged her at DC. And it wasn't until Gloria Steinem put Wonder Woman on the, uh, on the cover of her first issue of Ms. that the Wonder Woman thing came back and DC saw value in it and went back to the old Wonder Woman. I really like the new Wonder Woman movie, Alex. Oh, it's a very it good movie. Yeah, Captain America. I thought it was really good. It's a very good movie, yeah. Because most of the other DC stuff has been shit. Yeah, I can't stand yeah. Affleck as Batman. I want to fire him right from my TV. I can't take him as Batman. Well, uh, listen, I got to tell you, George Clooney was no great Batman oh, either. Oh, that was fucking horrible. I want to and, 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 you know, uh, Van, what's his name? <laughs> um, 
That Joel Schumacher ruined that whole fucking movie, I said. Yeah, well, you know. He stunk. Uh, I, mean, how do you I remember. I remember the, the Batman costume the in, 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 in Clooney's Batman they had movie. Nipples on him. That's what I was going to say. He had nipples on the suit. Alex, when they watched the movie, when they oh, so you and I tried to bring up comic books and listen what oh, we okay. get here. But can I ask you a question? <laughs> when they finish the movie, right? Don't they show the people who pay for the movie like, "Hey, this is what I got finished." They had to say this movie was terrible. Like when they show them dailies. When they, uh, but no, I, I don't know. I often but wonder whether so people know uh, whether they know they're making a shitty movie when they're making a movie. Didn't they do that? You think you know that this is terrible? I mean, halfway through, do they know there's a point at which they go, "Gee, I wish I could give up." You know, I, I mean, this is going to. I, I think that you know, happens, but but just, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Like, listen, listen to Ray. What Ray? Well, yeah. I think that happens, but they inv they have so much invested. Yeah. It's kind of like the Vietnam War. It's like you just got to, you know, you can't quit. You, yeah. you should, but you can't. And then they got to finish the movie. And then they got to edit it. And they know it's going to suck. And they just hope they don't lose too much money. I was or maybe it'll do well in Spain or something. I was listening to <clears> an interview <throat> with uh, a comedian. And he was talking about being in, when he first got into the business and how he was in a bunch, he went out to the West Coast to be in sitcoms. <sighs> And he got on a sitcom and they did like four or five episodes and then they got the kiss of death and they brought in some consultants and he, he told the story that all they wanted to do at this point was fulfill what they had to, meaning first take on everything. You know what I mean? Just keep it short, yeah. you know, no sec cut, print it, next, no, it's you know, and move on. Try to just limit yeah. your uh, damage when they yeah. realize. Jeff had, his, Jeff had his hand up and then we'll go to Ray. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was going to ask Tony like the Batman, which is uh, I, obviously you don't like the movies, but well, I, I like certain Batman. The Christopher movies. Nolan's like movies were good, did. but you like do you like the stuff in paper? Well, you know what? I just thought Schum I thought the Clooney Batman was so over the top. It was just yeah. like it was too campy for me. Yeah, I, I just thought the director was terrible. Like it was just just totally bad. Ray? He was throwing villains in there. Nothing made any sense. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was just, I was still on the uh, the, the TV show expense pro issue like when, the, when it sucks. No, no, what I was saying was, like, for instance, the mm -hmm. last TV show in San Francisco was Trauma, and that, that shut down like three years ago. Um, it, it had the worst ratings on TV in that time slot for uh, the, its whole run. So they just pumped out the last few episodes as fast as they could. They took a big pause. They made six more episodes that were absolutely fantastic television. But by that time, it had such a bad reputation, no one was watching it. The, la the last six episodes they, uh, were great. So, I mean, they, they, they gave it a second shot, and it, it didn't work. And they, I'm sure they lost a ton of money. I'm trying to remember, you know? the, I'm trying to remember the guy's name because he was a comedian who I knew and I really liked. He was a really good comedian. I can't, can't remember his name. He played, it wound up playing Larry Sanders' doctor on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Um, oh, yeah. But he was a very funny comic. And now I can't even remember his name. Uh, he was a very funny comic. And he went down to Hollywood, and he was also a good actor. And he managed to get himself a pilot for a TV show. But with his name, I think was, his name was on it or something like that. But it, he got it, and ABC picked it up. Oh. And we were so thrilled for him that they picked it up. And they loved it so much that in TV Guide, which in those days everybody had a TV Guide, right? <laughs> uh, right? Uh, the the uh, they took out in every issue across the country a two page f layout advertising his show and how they're going to run two episodes back to back on Monday. He made it right, mm -hmm. and we're so thrilled for him because he not only has gotten himself a series, but he's also gotten the network behind him. Okay, he's hold on. People that was on Friday and Thursday when TV Guide came out. What? By Monday, the network decided they didn't like the show, so they didn't even run it. <gasps> oh, so hold on. I often Are you asked talking about Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher. Yeah. 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 Jack Gallagher. And I often said to Jack, 
Did you want them to go? Kind of if there was snack? a gun there, would you have pulled it out and stuck oh your God. stuck it in your mouth? Is really? that, that the same Jack Gallagher that used to uh, uh, crush the uh, watermelons? No, no, no. That's Gallagher. Oh, that's, no, that's, that's uh, Gallagher. No, oh. no. Gallagher. We're t- we're talking about a comedian here, not yeah. Gallagher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but no, but but uh, it, it was it was literally the worst story I've ever heard in the history of television. Oh. Did you remember that happening, Ray? What's that? Did you remember that happening when that happened? Uh, I, I, no, I don't remember it happening. I don't. I mean, they literally yeah. had the shows ready to go. The woman supposedly called Jack on Saturday or Sunday and said, well, the old head of programming was just fired, and I've taken oh, over, and I've decided not to run your show. Nice These ads are in every TV guide <clears throat> across the country. What was his name? Trump. Oh, can't so what did they put him in his place? What? That's the question. Was it some yeah. stupid? I, I, I think, yeah, they ran a rerun or something of something. Our joke is wild. I thought. Yeah. Okay. Now, to me, why do you just not run a show? There's got to be I, an al- there's got to be an alternative reasoning there, and I think it's that the woman just didn't like any. It's like Trump with uh, Obama. You know, anything Obama did is wrong. So yeah. she just was going to kill anything he did because what was the harm in running it? They had already Not advertised it. Before. Yeah. There's so much politics in, in show business. It's ridiculous. I mean, who knows? She might not have liked him. You know, it could be anything. It could be so many things. The polls at the network, I would fire someone like that. Really? You just let this run. It happened before you started. Okay, you don't want it to continue. Let these run. Hmm. What is that yeah. you're holding up, Jeff? Let's see if I can bring it in. That's uh, Batman, right? Oh, yeah. Arkham, Arkham Manor. Manor. Oh, it's a TV. That's my, uh, my nephew. Yeah. Who, de- who designs all that stuff. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Wow. So. I don't know if it's any good. I have no idea. Well, I know of Arkham Asylum, but I didn't know there was an Arkham Manor. The Arkham Asylum is where they put the bad guys. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was an insane asylum. Yeah. And they put the bad guys there. Uh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, I watched the uh, interview with the <clears throat> playmate. Okay. And I came to the determination very quickly after watching it on CNN repeat. No, not that she's crazy. Slut. Uh, the, huh? Slut. Uh, I don't know that I'd call her a slut. I think the story, number one, was very credible. It, it, had, no, it had no gaps in it. You know, it, it, it flowed pretty freely. The sex, the sex part. But, uh, you know, the, the, everybody was kind of scratching their head going, okay, what's the motivation here? Why is she doing it? Are you there, Renee? I think so. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, turn on your yeah, turn on your you. turn on your picture and we'll house. get to see it. Oh, uh, see, I thought I had a picture on. There we go. Is that better? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Full there house. you go. Anyway, cool. well, uh, I house. I felt she was very credible. I think that the you know, the question of why is she doing this? She keeps saying that she wants to buy her story back. She wants to own her story. She wants to own her life. Uh and uh, I didn't find that she I, she wasn't. She didn't lack credulity. I'll say that for her. I mean, you think she was a nutcase, right, Phil? Why? Yeah, I think the Why? story fell apart. I think she probably had one night of sex with the guy. Oh, no, no, he no, tried no, to no, pay no, her. No, no, uh, no. Uh, I'm telling you now. The, she knew who the lawyer was that picked her up. She t- no, she could tell you which events they went to. She they can went. tell you what happened she, at the events. This is she. She didn't make this stuff up. He's caught with another other woman or hooker or porn star and you're going to have to suck it up that you people are lousy you you have to suck it up that we have a president who is certainly not a good role model for the rest of the country yes yes rob she's an opportunist because she, she she didn't she couldn't believe that he would cheat with on her with stormy daniels at that golf event and yet he's cheating on his fucking wife <laughs> yes well of course so just out of and, curiosity oh i'm sorry go ahead rob 
and 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 in my mind, she's an opportunist. And she, right now, she's not happy because she didn't get what she wanted. And so now she's trying again, an opportunist. Trying, she's gambling because she expects trouble here. You know, they can sue her. She and makes she, up with nothing. She's tainted. She yeah. even said in the interview, "I'm an older model." And she realizes that her opportunities are few and far between. And the other one's an older porn star, and her opportunities are few and far between. For Trump, well, don't Stormy think, Daniels don't happens to be Trump. I don't uh, like her. It happens because, to be quite wealthy, so mm-hmm. she doesn't need the publicity. It, it doesn't matter, uh, you know. People who are wealthy want to be wealthier. Yeah. No, people who are wealthy just don't want to be poor. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's that's right. And, Ren- and yeah. Renee wins the remark of the night. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and Ray, thank you for that <laughs> walk in Palo Alto. <laughs> I was almost thinking about coming back, and I I saw it all again flashed back in front of my eyes, and said, "Fuck that." <laughs> get your face. Uh, get your Don't face, uh, uh, Renee. Get expensive. your face a little more in the picture, so we. Can, Me? Yeah, you're. I can't see yeah. my picture, so I uh, gotta figure got, out where I'm at. Take the camera Let's more. To oh, there we are. Okay, got it. There we go. There. Okay. That's much better. And is my sound better? Yeah, your sound's better. Yeah, your okay. sound's great. Because I got on a mic. Yes, Ray. I I really find it interesting that we're talking about Stormy Daniels and a Playboy Thank Bunny you. and stuff. When when there are so many other things that are much more important and possibly detrimental to this nation and the world. And yet they've steered our consciousness towards this bullshit, which doesn't matter really. Well, well it does in a Michael, way because, why? because money was paid right before an election. Okay. And if money was paid before an election to sway that election in any way, that's an illegal campaign contribution. And that part of it matters. I agree with the Stormy Daniels thing, but then all of a sudden with the Playboy Bunny, I mean, I, I don't see the relevance. Well, the playmate, I think, I, mean, I think the playmate said, "Listen, I probably she probably had more of a relationship with Trump if to listen to her tell the story than Stormy Daniels, and she probably said Stormy Daniels is getting all this publicity, and she didn't even have the relationship that I had with Trump. I've got the re- if you if you had to say which was the story that." had a lot of juice to it. It's not the Stormy Daniels story. The only part about that that's interesting, she was a porn actress. Yes, uh, 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 Renee. So um, two topics that I would li- I, I agree with Ray. Two things that I'd like to talk about. And I also see what um, Rob is talking about. One is um, the march tomorrow is a good topic to talk about, what the, kids, what the young adults are doing, because clearly we can't get our shit together. And mm-hmm. number two is this black ops bitch who is now going to badass bitch, by the way, who's now going to be in charge. They're putting her up to be in charge of the CIA mm-hmm. or the NSA. Uh, uh, CIA. One? CIA. No, CIA. Yeah. So she ran. She's actually a worked black... her way up from operations. She's been with the agency for a long time. Hey, I'm not knocking anybody who can do off the books terrorists or. A well, she's been no, she's no, been no, she's I'm been not. with the agency no. for years and years and years. I don't care. And I'm supposedly is very crazy. good at what she does, <laughs> but that that uh, that she also is very good at taking marching orders. And and the black ops that she was doing was part of her marching orders. And That's I, not the scariest thing that happened, though. The scariest thing that happened to me was John Bolton becoming yes, the national security. Yes, <laughs> and, and and that's different. <laughs> that and, and what's weird, scary. what's weird about that, Vernon, is if we were making a made-for-television movie and we needed to cast John Bolton, we'd hire you, Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Wilford Brimley. I mean, you're. Um, that's not to say you're you're as ugly as he is. You're the prettier uh, version. Take you're my the glasses off you, to be as ugly as you're, he is. You're the <laughs> television. You're the television version of John Bolton. John Bolton promised. You're Michael Bolton. John Bolton yeah, he's do some- Trump that he wouldn't start any wars. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that's right. Bullshit. Yeah, 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 Trump promised not to, not to not to do a lot of things during the campaign that he's uh, going against okay. right now. Okay. 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 Wanted the Iraq War <laughs> and did not. Renee, imagine I'm a black man with a whole bunch of medals across my chest, going, "This is bad white stuff." 
<laughs> and that's how we that's exactly the same shit that the Bush administration i.e. Dick Cheney tried and, and successfully got us into the Iraq war. Well, my question and, is, my question is, how long, do we want to take a little bet here on how long Bolton lasts? Oh, this is, this is, mm. NPR end, ended one of their segments today as, and today's staff writers were, and next week's episode is going to be, <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, this is coming from NPR, yeah. where wow. they're mocking yeah. the I don't White House. Bolton. I don't know the was the right guy for the job. I give him three months. Give him three no. months. I, you know, I, I, I think all Trump wants around him are people who agree with him and tell him what he wants mm -hmm. to hear. Exactly. There you go. CNN is saying that he deserves that. You know that, that that's that's you know that's what he should have uh, is is guys that want to do what he wants to do and, and push his agenda. Yeah, and, uh, but you, you know something well, about uh, all these people are psychopaths. That's not what the whole they, fucking government in, in the whole White House and the cabinet are a bunch of psychopaths. That's that's not what they said. What CNN said was the president has the right to be surrounded by the people that he wants around him. OK, but he said that's what they said. No, well, you you pushed it uh, beyond with what you said. That's not what they said. He like any president, yeah. but most presidents look for an alternative opinion because they want to hear multiple opinions. If I do this, tell me the different things that can happen, everybody, and then you make a decision. Trump can't deal with that. He can't even deal with a guy that gives him a briefing because he doesn't laugh at his inane jokes. Mm -hmm. hey, by the way, by the way, but, wait, 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 Phil, Phil Meyer just wrote me something saying I need color balance. Uh, the cam your camera and Marjorie's camera Hers was very cool, and yours was warmer. Now, the camera currently on, uh, that you're using is much cooler. So when you, when you had the two cameras on... They're, the very hard, they're very hard to balance. These are not professional cameras. These are webcams. Phil. I understand. You know, and I, I, if, you meant, if you meant the, the one that you guys are seeing me on, which is this one, okay? Right. Uh, that, that is, that is a camera that doesn't go on the air. You're not going to pick my nose? What? No, I'm not going to pick you. Here, but I will tickle you. I'll tickle you. Everybody leave. Okay. I'll tickle you. What, what I saw on the air was the two cameras, and one was much cooler, and the other one was much warmer. I know. And Because you were talking about being too very, bright. Also. It's very hard to balance them. Yeah. Very hard They're to balance too them. Uh, so, yeah. What were you going to say, Renee? And then, of... and then Bob Eberth is next. What, Renee? Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead, Renee. You, you. I was just going to say nobody's all that worried about the practices that she learned while she was an off-site agent and bringing that kind of, I don't know, knowledge. Look how good it worked for Putin. Well, I think yeah, I think uh, uh, if you want my if you want my opinion, uh, mm -hmm. I I think that. Uh, uh, she will bring whatever anybody else who works for the CIA would bring to it because they're all involved in those kind of things, depending on who's running the place. And, and, you know, she may be against torture. She may be against all of that. But if those were her marching orders and she considered herself a good CIA operative, then she did what she was told to do. Uh, we don't know till she takes over what the tone of that place is going to be. But I, most of the people who are, are, are trying to uh, look into her have said, don't judge her by that. She was only doing can, her job. Can I just, Tom Yamaguchi, for two plus, seconds? Plus, you, would, you, you, would, you should seem to like her because she's a woman, you know, the first no, woman to run the you're CIA. You're talking about the Geneva Convention crap, that we're not supposed to step over that right, line. Right, right. She stepped over that line. And... And it's not that it wasn't her job or anything like that. It's the fact that she's now going to come into the United States and maybe bring some of that skill set with her where she's walking the line or she... She can't walk the line. To begin with, she can't walk the line in the United States of America because the CIA is not allowed to operate inside the United States. Unless Trump decides that that's what he wants. Well, well, well that's a different story altogether, but it's not supposed to by it's definition... It's against well, the law. It's the, against no. the Geneva Convention. What the no, no, forget about the, the Geneva law. Convention. That's a whole different story. This is about whether the CIA can spy, say, on American citizens. No, they can't. The FBI can. The NSA can. But CIA is external and works outside the country. But so, what happens if they're working with somebody outside the country that happens to be 
doing things inside our country. Aren't they supposed to share information? They should share information, and then the FBI or the NSA would take care of that part of it, you know. Isn't that why we they they started the Homeland Security? Yeah, office yeah, it's an umbrella. To, to it's an umbrella. All that. It's an it looks umbrella. Looks like we got a woman in charge of that now. Jeez. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that bad? That's film? ridiculous. No, it, it's it's not <laughs> the fact that she's a woman. It's the fact that she operated that she was a non. I don't know if she was a government employee when she was running the torture sites. I think those torture sites were uh, like Halliburton's or they were Blackwater's. So she wasn't, I don't know if she was employed at the time she well, was not, running, now that we employed have a, with the United States government. Now, now that we that have time. a woman running the CIA, uh, will all CIA agents have to sit down when they spy? <laughs> not even close <laughs> try harder please make an effort i don't know i liked it because it got a good groan i think that's what i liked most about it and and that's part of comedy a groan yeah yeah there, there, well if you don't put the seat down in the office though she'll fire you yeah, you know, yeah, that's a little better. Yeah. I'm sure she has her own toilet. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to mess with you. Per yeah, that smart woman. Well, you know, yeah, I'm not knocking the fact that she's got to be a badass bitch, but I'm not messing with her. I just never understood. You know, it, it, it it's it's more effort to uh, lift up the so toilets. <laughs> you know, we're going to get I into this agree. conversation. But don't ever say that. <laughs> Uh, you know, that I think that whoever used it last should leave it where it is, and the next one who's going to use it should place it where they want it to be. Okay? Uh, That's just, I just a like. But I always get this thing from girlfriends. Life. Leave the seat down. You know. I'm, I think you cheap-ass bastard men should buy a goddamn Toto and just hit the button, and it'll close on its own, and, and you know it what? only when, takes a button. Renee, when men leave the seat down, except me now because I have a catheter, uh, the, if you... <laughs> Thank you for the visual. <laughs> if you sit down, when you don't turn on the light in the middle of the night, and you go in there without the catheter, you're going to hit the seat. So they yell at you for peeing on the seat, and they yell at you for not putting the seat down. Yeah. You know, you okay, how many life. how many here have sat on the heated toilet seat? I have. I I you know there are two things I, I can't I I, like yeah, I cannot I cannot I cannot the there are two things I can't do. I and I, this happened once to me. I went went over stayed with this woman overnight and in the morning I had to get up to pee and I went into her bathroom and what was that? And she, oh, uh, it got to be your neighborhood, Tony. Uh, and to anyway, um, uh, she had one of these. I don't know how you just spongy okay. toilet seats. Oh. You know what I'm that talking spongy, about? Yeah. Oh, I hate and, those. And I'm sorry. I I absolutely could not take a dump. I just, you know, it was like it was too disconcerting sort of to me. Around, my man. ass was kind of collapsing <laughs> into it, you know. You ever been and, on and then one wait a minute, let me finish. Then right. when I wanted to go into just pee, I couldn't get the seat to stay up because of the foam cover. Yeah, so I'm there uh, taking yeah. a pee with my foot. <laughs> On the thing, trying to, I'm trying to do, I, I look like something out of Cirque du Soleil, you know, <laughs> trying to take a pee. Have you ever sat on one of those and the, and the vinyl was cracked? That's even. Oh, oh and then it pinches your ass? Germs, yeah. Yeah. Bugs. Ah. Yeah. And it makes that air sound. I have yeah. news for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let toilet seats be toilet seats. In the wild, they do not have cushions. Okay? Hey, you know, French guys sit when they pee. Do Just they? thought you should know that. Yeah, well, hmm. I, you know, I, actually, uh, it's a very comfortable way to pee, and of course, uh, Phil knows that you get if you have a problem like Phil had, you get more pee out by sitting down, and it's easier to pee sitting You're down than standing up. Having your legs up at a certain uh, higher, yeah, uh, than uh, than the uh, toilet. Uh, it makes it easier to poop. Yeah, get yeah, that's why and I that's squat why, on the toilet like a right, like that's like, they, like a Vietnamese guy. The okay. Greeks and, and others uh, use those, and the Turks, they use those holes yeah. in the... And, okay, uh, holes? that's fucking it. Yeah. Holes? Uh, yeah, no, 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 you, <laughs> holes? <laughs> all right, all right, enough of that. Enough of that. Uh, Jack Bishop is joining us, so we have a royal flush, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 
Not hooked up. Or li- <laughs> the sound of the toilet flushing, quick, royal flush. Yeah, I don't have it hooked up. Somehow oh, your camera never starts up. We never see you, Jack. Well, hey, you know what? What can I say? You got to get your yeah. whole equipment. It's a cheap camera. I'll have to get another quickly, camera. Quickly, for a moment. Hey, the toilet solution is simple. If I ever move out of this house. Yeah. We have been in for over 25 years. Mm-hmm. I'm having a urinal installed in my bathroom so I can. So all of this conversation about seat up, seat down becomes moot. When you were building your house, uh, Rob, did you have an option of a urinal? I didn't ask. What about a bidet? Uh, I didn't ask. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't want the big tub in the ma- the master bathroom, so we got a much bigger shower. Yeah, that yeah. was an option and all yeah. that. I didn't. There we go. Didn't ask about an option for a urinal. Uh, yeah, a urinal. Bidet. Yeah, if I built another house, I'd want a bidet. Yeah. I'd want a urinal. Uh, not me. Okay, Je- Jeff. Jeff has his hand up. Yeah, uh, my friends in Argentina, uh, obviously they all have bidets there. Yeah. But but they really. Built all their equipment uh, in the United States because they were in the United States at the time, and so they had a lot of regular bathrooms, but they had an attachment that you could attach a regular bathroom with a bidet that kind of scrotes uh, the water goes underneath. Yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, if you want that, Phil. Uh, Go to Argentina, and my friend will give you one. There's a company that Renee was talking about called Toto that makes those, and it's it's the seat, and it's actually uh, hooks up to the supply line, and uh, you can push a button, and mm-hmm. it'll clean yeah. your uh, 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 Yes, uh, uh, Vernon. Most of us who have dogs keep the seat down anyway, so the dog doesn't drink out of it. Really? Why did you want your dog drinking out of the toilet? Well, it's probably bacteria. It's gross. No. No, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, toilet water is not uh, unhealthy. Pet. It, I always, often thought of the toilet as a watering hole for my pets. Well, I had a German Shepherd that used to drink from the you toilet. Let him lick your but... face after that? Huh? You let him lick your face after that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the true <laughs> test. The water in a toilet. Yes, you're right. But the the toilet itself, the porcelain on the inside, is is loaded with germs. Well, not if you clean it. Well, I, you'd have to really clean it. But not as many as a uh, the water that comes from uh, an airplane's uh, uh, sink. By the uh, way, why are we, we talking? We have because Germans. we have our all-time high listening viewing audience for tonight right now. It just toilets. zoomed up <laughs> the minute we started talking about toilets. Bathroom. Don't let Amy find out about that because she says every time we start talking about toilets, toilets. the audience sinks. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Well, well, uh, well no, I, I'm telling you right now, the, the, the numbers just, you know. Well, let's keep doing it. By the way, uh, 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 Jack is on after us with the intersection, and you get more listeners than this show does. You know that, don't you? No, I didn't know that. No, that's because we're on video now. Most people watch the television version, video version, and don't listen to the audio stream. So oh. our audio stream levels are very low. Yours are you much higher. You should be higher. proud of that. You've discovered another thing on the ga- on the internet that's important for how to get the signal out. And if the old way, using the uh, radio uh, way, yeah. doesn't work as well yeah. you should be happy that yeah. you found yeah. i mean i'll still keep the audio thing going because a lot of people listen to it the rest of the day but if anyway, you don't yes. call on him he's gonna burst uh, yeah, it, <laughs> wait a minute uh, john palu john. Palu- john. yes john yeah I, I just one more comment about the toilet thing the <laughs> most <laughs> view- <laughs> keep That's it going keep it going for. people are listening one. the most beautiful toilet <laughs> most beautiful <laughs> bathroom in the entire world that I ever sat on was 14,000 foot camp at Mount McKinley. And it was just a a shitter hole that they had near the medical tent there. And you sat down there and just looked out at all the mountain ranges of, uh, you know, Denali National Park. Well, I think maybe, I think maybe Renee, you got a great idea here. Why don't you put a toilet out on your deck? Uh, because uh, just a beautiful view, beautiful view. You can whale watch while you're taking a dump. Yeah. Yeah. How many viewers you'll get? 
yeah. especially from the so, road. <laughs> I would like to put in my two cents about Toto. So all of you people that have Mother's Day is coming up. Costco sells it. Please go out and buy. Uh, go to Costco. Now explain Toto quickly. Toilet. Toto hey, is Mom, not. Here's an ass besides besides, for besides you. being Happy the Mother's be, Day. Besides being the dog from the. Uh, <laughs> From, besides being the dog from the Wizard of Oz, what else is Toto? Explain it. It's a toilet what? It's a toilet company. It, it, well, see, they were the original ones that invented the washette. And the washette happens to be a, a, a duvet. A duvet. Hmm. A duvet? A no, I mean a bidet, not a duvet. Built into the toilet. So they invented it. However, Mark Cuban, the basketball entrepreneur or whatever he is, um, <laughs> saw a need for this and he went in to business with somebody else that has already invented just the seat. So you don't need to buy a Toto anymore and you don't need to buy a Toto wash up by name. You just need to go to Costco and they'll have the heated seat ones and they'll have the water and heated seat ones. And mm. you can get it from them and you can even get it online. There's two problems. If you don't know an electrician, then you're going to have to buy the battery operated one. But if you do know the electrician, the other one is much better. What's the is there any way to try it out before you buy it? Yeah, it's going to cost you a ticket to Hawaii. Or you can go to my... Imagine if it's on fire. Buy it, Costco, return. What? I hope you're happy, Ray Renati, with the level of this conversation. You know, you were kind of hoping it would be staring up there. But as soon as I heard there's more more listeners, Well, listen, you'll be happy to know, uh, uh, Ray, that at least we got off of talking about Stormy Daniels and on to something else that's important. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Still in the toilet. Yeah. I mean, what, what's better? But a poop is more important than Stormy Daniels. If I don't it take a poop, if I don't take a poop, I mean, I've got problems. But if I don't don't take a Stormy Daniels, I'll get by okay. Taking a shit and <laughs> taking care of my prostate are much more important to me than her. Right. And speaking of I prostate know. health, by the way, Phil, the guy on the screen next to you, Vernon, wrote me today about the fact that he had his prostate radiated years ago. Uh huh. Uh, and. What? Is that why he's glowing? <laughs> uh, and, not and, looking at but, his junk. No, no and, 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 and it's never come back, right? You've, it's <laughs> all, that's right. It's all, and that was how many years ago? Uh, seven years ago. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, but how large was your prostate? Well, when, uh, when the, de the mm -hmm. cancer was detected, my PSA shot up to 9.2. Yeah. Okay, uh, and that was, that was from three years earlier. It was at five point one. Yeah, I had and a... and the and the doctor said if it increases, if it doubles like that, whether it's it, it's relative number, if it goes from four to eight in a three year period, then they want you to have it checked out. I was talking about the actual size of the prostate, you know, the milliliters. Well, see, mine's still in there. It's just been shrunk by radiation. Oh, I see. My PSA now is has leveled off at a zero point five. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Damn. But the thing they also told you was that if you were 10 Not years that. younger, they would have removed it. If you were 10 years right. older, they would have told you to live with it. Yeah, I was 62 years old when it was diagnosed. And the doctor, and of course, every case is different. And I don't know about, about your, your situation. But they did 12 biopsies, and wow. only one came back cancerous out of 12. I had two. Wow. And uh, over a period of a few years... The first one was negative, and the second one came back with... Uh, well, that's what it was with me. They did a biopsy three years earlier, and they all came back negative. But then when it jumped from 5.1 to 9.2, we did the biopsy thing again. And, boy, that's uncomfortable. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. Believe me, I know. Uh, <laughs> the catheter thing is Hey, really Alex, bad. all I got to do is go to my storage oh, the, room and get the box that it came in. There it is. Just make sure to send like, me the... Uh, 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 okay, oh, good. Good. For what is Christ's it? sakes, Alex. It's, the, it's his Mac Mini. He I wants Mac oh. Mini. I'm buying yeah. that from him. They're smaller than He takes that. credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> I said, how am I going to get the money to you? He said, oh, just give me your credit card. I'll be able to get it to you. You know. So, oh, yeah, yeah, Alex. You know what? I need to go shopping. Just give me your credit card. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll be happy to do that. Um, hey, listen, it's been fun tonight. It's really been fun. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and now you've got me worried about my prostate and the fact that I have to get my PSA <laughs> test again and maybe it'll go oh, up and then they'll have the to. uniform on again, Alex. Uh, they'll, they'll have to do the, the whole puncturing of your 
prostate. And, you know, some people have said that doesn't hurt. Other people say it hurts like Oh, hell. Phil, no, no, please. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. No, no. stop. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. My pants. Come on. Hey, hey nice color. Hey, did, and, uh, what you didn't see is that I sent my pants over to Phil so he could wear them just now. Then when he took, <laughs> when he sat down, he took them off. He gave them to, uh, to Vernon. He stood up. He had the, then I, the magic of the Internet. Yeah. Hey, listen, I want to thank all of you. Vernon Nunn, thank you so much. Phil, glad to have you back. You, you didn't miss a glad day. Bob Eber, thank you. John Perulis, always good to have you on. Tony, remind me not to talk about comic books when you're on. Uh, Rob, <laughs> thank you as always. Ray Renati, uh, terrific singing tonight. And uh, Jeff Stein, uh, a terrific beard. Okay, and Renee, <laughs> as always, you were terrific too. Well, everybody give a big, not round of applause, but a, a big, yeah, wave goodbye uh, to all the people out there in our television or video or our whatever viewing audience. Bye, everybody. And uh, they'll be back again hopefully next week. And uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, we will be taking the weekend off, as we all often do, in fact, every weekend. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday, uh, and we start at, uh, at uh, 9.30 with uh, Damien, who didn't do a show tonight because he had some, uh, some problems, uh, but uh, he'll be back again at 9.30 on, on Tuesday. I'll be followed by me, and uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. I'll be back again on, uh, on, on Tuesday. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, I'm just stalling here because I'm trying to get things working here. Uh, tell her, uh, tell her I love her. Okay, bye everybody.